adoration for his mercy that endures forever. We thank him for making us to see the light of the day. Briefly, we want to share the word of God together in the prepared message by our Father in the Lord, Pastor E.A. Adeboye. The topic for today Monday, October 29th, is look up. Look up. And our memory verse is taken from the book of John 15, 5. The memory verse is taken from the book of John, chapter 15, verse 5. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bring forth fruit, much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. The son says in Yoruba, if you look up unto him, you will find life. Memory verse again. I am divine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruits. For without me, ye can do nothing. As we have read the Bible passage, Hebrew 12, verse 1 to 3. Wherefore, see, we also compass about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin which does easily beset us. And let us run with patience the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. Hebrew 12, 1 to 3. Look up. Once again, it's our topic. Look up. When we are saying look up, it means there is something attractive up. There is something beautiful up. There is something glorious up. When you look down, you see circumstances that are, not, that are not palatable around you, and you begin to put one or two things together, why is it like this? But when you look up, it means you are handing over everything unto your maker. You are telling him, you are my all. You are telling him, my focus is on you. And you are telling him, it's your ally. Let's 
let's go to what our daddy put down for us. To look to Jesus means to rely on him for help. And to see him as our example. To look to Jesus means to rely on him for help and to see him as our example. If you look up unto your father, your father can fail. If you look up unto any rich man, he can fail. If you look up unto your pastor, he's still in the flesh. So looking up means and over everything to the person who owns everything. It means relax, no cause for alarm. He is our forerunner who has triumphantly gone through whatever we are passing through now. Hallelujah. He knew the purpose of his coming into this world and he stayed true to that purpose till it was fulfilled. I pray by the, by the grace of God, you will fulfill the purpose why God sent you to this world in the name of Jesus Christ. Because our Father stayed true to that purpose till it was fulfilled. Whatsoever is hindering, whatsoever is disturbing, whatsoever is standing as an obstruction, I decree and I declare today that the Almighty God will crush them out of your way in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Look up. It's your all. Look up. It's there to help. Therefore, in the midst of trials and temptations, you only need to look up to Jesus and walk in the steps that he left for us to follow. He told us in his word, that follow me as I follow my father. He told us that we should allow the word of God to dwell in us richly. He told us that we should not be conformed to the word. Because there is nothing stable in the word. To look to Jesus is to look away from every other thing. And focus on him alone. To look to Jesus is to look away from every other thing. And focus on him alone. Because he's the only person that cannot fail. He's the same yesterday and today and forever. Naturally, when you look up, it becomes impossible to see your surroundings at the same time. Hallelujah. God bless her, Daddy. Her machine. When you look up, everything that is going on around you, either positive or negative, you are less concerned. When you look up, you are focused. When you look up, you know that your Redeemer leave it. When you look up, you know that the unchangeable changer is able to change every ugly situation. For this reason, your focus shifts For this reason, your focus shifts from your surrounding and Settles on the things above alone. Yes. Like somebody said one day.
that all these things shall pass away. So everything will pass away, but the word of God will never pass away without, without revealing its purpose. That is the reason he's telling us today to look up. The good thing is that it is only then that only when you look up that solution will come and peace will be given to calm the raging storm. Hmm. Hallelujah. It is only when you look up that the storm can be calm. If you don't believe me, ask Peter. Yes. When he had his eyes set on Jesus, he was walking on the stormy sea. Stormy sea. Are you passing through a storm? Are you passing through a stage? Just look unto him. He was walking on a stormy sea. But the moment he looked at his surroundings, he began to sink. I pray. No problem will sink you. And no devil will sink your destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So, my beloved brethren, what we need to do is to look up. Look up, look up. Let's learn from the bold Peter. The man that cannot keep quiet, he must talk. Very bold. He was bold to an extent that he told Jesus, when Jesus was asking them questions at the month of transfiguration, and Jesus said, on this confession, on this word that you have spoken, I built my church, and the gates of hell shall never prevail. You are the church. In as much as you have given your life to Jesus, you are the church. In as much as you stand firm in the truth, you are the church. In as much as you are doing this perfect way, you are the church. I pray the Almighty God will help all of us to the end in the name of Jesus Christ. In Matthew 14, 30, the Bible says, But when he saw the wind post promptly, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, saying, Lord, save me. That was the time he shifted his face away from Jesus Christ. He was sinking. I pray your eyes will remain steadfast in him to the end in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. To look to man is fruitless efforts. Yes, indeed. You too will have had the experience. If somebody say like uh, my husband normally say, that if somebody promise you that come tomorrow, I will, I will give you so, 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 and so. That person is just greeting you. Because it's just ordinary human being. It can fail. It can change. So, to look to a man is a fruitless effort. A person can only raise you as far as his or her hands can reach. So, this is from man. This is from all the vain promises by man. And each person's reach it's limited, yes. Like a songwriter says, nobody knows what tomorrow will be. Nobody knows what tomorrow will be. Nobody knows what tomorrow will be. Only God Almighty knows what tomorrow will be. It's only God that knows tomorrow. Nobody can promise you and you rely on it. Just look up. Look up. Is there for us 
always. In the little time I have spent on her, that's her father in the Lord telling us his experience, I have come to discover that the only person you can trust totally is God. Yes, you can disappoint yourself. It's possible. So the only person that you can trust, the only person you can rely on totally, absolutely, is God. He is the one who never fails. Hallelujah. He has no limits and can never be dethroned. Hallelujah. So our Father reigns forever and never. So look up unto him. Look up unto him. In him is everything you need here on us and in eternity. Finally, to look up to Jesus is to focus on our destination. Yes. Don't say because my friend is going to the east. For naturally, you decided to go to the west. Don't say because your friend is going to the east and you are following him. No. You came to this world individually and differently. So, and you should remember that you are just a pilgrim in this world. So, we are sojourners here on us, only passing through on our way to our eternal home. If heaven is your final destination, that's the question for you and me, and by his grace, heaven is my destination. Then it is only wise that you focus on the way to that destination. Um, <clears throat> What is that way? It is written here in capital letter. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. So you must be focused to him, focus on him, so that you will be able to reach your destination. The Bible says that he sits at the right hand of God's throne. That is Jesus Christ, our Savior. That is how... That is our finished line. And that is where your gaze should be permanently fixed. That is where your gaze must be permanently fixed. That is, that is where you must focus your attention onto. Hebrew 12 2. Looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. I pray that as we look up unto him, we will not be disappointed in the name of Jesus. And the only thing that, that cannot make us to be disappointed is to focus on him wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Look unto him. He's ready to bail us out. Action point is Keep your gaze fixed on Jesus, no matter what. No matter whatever you are passing through, no matter what is coming your way, no matter your mind is, what my, your mind is telling you, no matter the situation, focus, let your focus be fixed on Jesus, the solution provider. I pray the Almighty God will help us in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Our hymn for today is hymn two. Hymn two. God bless you.
Sing out, Daddy. 